Hi guys, it's Amanda and I'm here with a book tag. This is the Your Life in Books book tag and I was tagged by Miranda from Books 101. It seems like ages ago that I was tagged in this video, so I'm very, very glad that I'm finally getting around to doing it. The first part of this tag is to spell out your initials with books. My initials are AJPD and these are the books that I've chosen. For A, I chose Asunder by Jody Meadows. This is the second book in the Incarnate series. I haven't actually got around to reading the second book yet, but it's right at the top of my to be read pile. For J, I picked Just Listen by Sarah Dessen. I haven't actually read this book either yet. I've got a whole bunch of Sarah Dessen books that I bought because I really liked one or two of them and I haven't actually got around to reading them all yet. Um, but this was the only J book that I could find. I'm sure I've got more, but I've got so many books, who knows where they are. For P, I chose Pivot Point by Casey West. Expect a review of this very, very soon. And finally, D, I went really basic and went for Divergent by Veronica Roth. This is probably what a lot of people will have picked, but, you know, I wanted to add another book that I actually read. And I really liked this book, and I haven't actually shown you that I've got it yet. The second question is to count your age across your bookshelf and see what you get. So I'm 19, so I have to count 19 across my bookshelf. 1, one 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So the 19th book is Before I Fall by Lauren Oliver. It's a tutor book set in your home country state or town. For this I've chosen Tomorrow When the War Began by John Marsden. This book is set in Wirrawee, which is a fictional town in New South Wales, Australia. Question 4 is pick a book that represents a destination you'd like to travel to. And for this I've chosen Just One Day by Gail Thorman. This book takes place in pretty, pretty much everywhere I want to go with the exception of Africa. It takes place in London, Paris, and America and all of these are destinations I'd really like to travel to so it works really well for me to have this one book which encompasses the majority of places I'd like to go at the moment. The next question is to pick a book that is your favourite colour. I haven't had to think about what my favourite colour is in a very very long time and now the more I think about it the more confused I get so I'm just going to go with what it was last time I thought about it which is purple and I chose Endlessly by Kristen White. This is the third book in the Paranormalcy trilogy and it's a really really lovely shade of purple. The next book is which book do you have the fondest memory of reading? Um, if you've seen my 10 books that change the way I read this might not surprise you. It is my Winnie the Pooh book. I remember reading this when I was five with my dad and I always love reading this and I've come back to it numerous times because it's just full of memories and you know that's one of the great things about old books. Okay, the next question was which book have you had the most trouble reading? As I wanted to keep this to books I've got on my shelf therefore that I can show you, I found this very difficult because very rarely do I buy a book that I have extreme trouble reading. Usually it might sit there for a while but I'll always get back to it, I'll always read it and I won't have that much trouble with it. Um, I was originally going to show you Alice's Adventures in Wonderland which I've just finished because although I found it enjoyable it was all over the place and while I read it fairly easily I just didn't understand what was happening. Then I remembered a pile of books that I've got that I'm waiting to get rid of and The Hunt. I picked up this book because it said quite clearly if you love The Hunger Games you'll love this. The Hunger Games and this are completely different. I've got no idea why they thought to compare them other than the fact that The Hunger Games were pop was popular. Um, this was an awful book that I could not get through. Well, I got through it, but I just don't care at all about the sequel. Okay, so the last question is, which book will you have the biggest sense of accomplishment when you finish? And for me, this was split 50-50 down the middle for slightly different reasons um, between two books. So the first book that I cho have chosen is The Lord of the Rings. I would be accomplished if I read this because it's massive, it's something that a lot of people have read so I feel sort of odd not having read it considering the genres of books that I enjoy reading. The Once and Future King by T.H. White. This is a classic so it's written in that style that is feathery and all over the place and because of that it makes it, you know, that little bit higher than Lord of the Rings 
because it's also massive. Okay guys, that's it for the tag. Once again, I want to thank Miranda from Books 101 for tagging me. I'll link her video down in the box. I'm going to tag Tara from Basically Books and also Laura Noakes. Sorry if I didn't pronounce that right. Um, I'll link their channels down in the box as well. Um, as well as the original video, who I can't remember who posted this first, so I'll work that out and put that down in the description as well. Bye!